Pete Crompton, Cortina City, car restorer. First became involved in restoring cars. I was about 18 at the time, and I started driving a, a Ford Escort van, and I was always wanting to modify it and improve it and add things that I like to personalize the car, get some kind of identity, individuality with the cars. Through uh, my first car, it became a hobby to tinker with the cars, mess about, tune them up, and uh, to drive them once you've done it was all great fun. So it started from that as a hobby. Oh, uh, the thing I enjoy most on restoring them, it's the easy one to answer, is driving them. So easy. Uh, the dangers of the job come mainly with the power tools. Some elements of lifting where you can hurt yourself if you don't lift things correctly on car restorations, the engine and the axle are heavy, heavy parts which you can be tempted to try and lift yourself because they're almost at the point where you can lift them but you shouldn't so you can hurt your back. Probably the most danger in it all at the whole restoration is your eyes because there's flying pieces of metal. When you're grinding metal down, when you're filing metal, when you're welding metal, metal fragments will fly. So you've got to have eye protection on all the time, even for the slightest job, because it'll always be the slight, small job that gets you, catches you out. So you've just got to assume it's going to be the worst case. Always have ear protection. You can hurt your ears. Ears are often uh, not thought about, but I always have ear defenders on when I'm using any power tools, simply because of the decibels. You will damage your ears. You will damage your eyes. Some of the most memorable moments when restoring are oh, there's loads. Um, you've got the low points where you're in the garage at one in the morning and you're surrounded by tools and everyone else has gone to bed and you're still messing and you don't want to stop because you're in the, the zone. Um, you always remember those times when you think this, you took on too much and you're not going to get out of there. High points are when it's starting to turn from being a restoration into what you'd call a reassembly. So uh, there's a tipping point where it doesn't look like a car, it's just sort of, um, uh, parts everywhere, but then as it comes to this break point and then it's your character of the car starts to come through and you can then see what you've been trying to do and that gives you extra energy and then that moment when you think you're over the hill or on the home run, that's a very memorable uh, thing.